let's talk about fan carts because we use these in physics although I kind of like just use it for demos because I can never get them just right but here this is a fan cart attaches to this cart I turn it on you let it go and you know you have a fairly constant strength force if you want to change the strength of the force you'd have to take out a battery and put in a dummy battery and we use these fine um, it was great but you know it, there's a lot of problems with it too you can control the the switch with a, a wired thing but um, you know they weren't super strong they weren't super consistent okay now we ordered I didn't buy these the but that didn't the university bought these so this is in the lab this is the vernier what does it say does it have a name fan cart it just says fan cart I want to show you some of the features of this that I figured out because I think it's awesome and I'll forget otherwise it wasn't obvious to me how this thing worked to begin with so the first thing you want to do we can change both the time and the strength of the force but I'm going to just go ahead and play this one thing I can never I never remember is which way the fan blows I think it blows I think it pushes that way but I'm going to push start right here and it's going to blink and it waits until it'll wait a couple seconds and then it'll run okay so i had that on a one time interval setting but that's the nice thing you push it and it blinks and it doesn't start right away and it can be difficult to start two things at the same time but still i would love like a connection between two fans that they would like be in sync that'd be kind of cool so right here we see the power force level it's on green if i push this i can change it to force level two three four let's do four just for fun it was going this way right push that's pretty nice okay now you can also change the time interval i'm going to hold down the button until those, those lights turn red and now I can, it's on one interval. I'm going to just change it to two. Let's put it on four, level two. So I'm going to hold this down, switch it to uh, green, and put that on two. Now let's play. So it ran for a longer time. Okay. So I think that's all the features on here that you need. Play, uh, change the force, change the time. Now, they have some, another really nice feature that I like right here is that I can change the angle of the fan, which is kind of cool because you, it's actually another way to change the, the strength of the force in that direction, right? If I, if I don't have it exactly the right force I want, I can change it this way. The track keeps it from moving sideways, so, you know, it's just going to run. I can't, still can't move it. Through. Okay, now here's something else I saw you can with the mounting bracket you can put in more than one fan and you can change the directions of the fan so i can put that one this way and this one this way i missed it okay right there so now i have two fans on there pushing in opposite directions so you can do cool experiments like you know net force um constant balance forces all that stuff we used to do for my physical science class uh, we would have two i'd put two of these fans on there and you know the question well what's going to happen when there's uh equal forces pushing in opposite directions and you know students get it wrong and it's fine but it was always hard you had to like balance find the batteries that just match different fans ran differently because they're dc motors and it was always a pain to get it just right and once you just like don't touch that set of fans because i'm using that for a demo and i think with this one it should be more consistent uh, and that's kind of nice. Uh, this is also, I should say, the, what is it called? The Go Direct Sensor Cart. We got these two. Uh, I'll just mention these briefly. I do like these. They connect to Bluetooth, so students can connect them to their phones and collect data. They can connect them to their computers and collect data. And it has a couple of important sensors. Right here is a position sensor, which is really great. So you don't have to use motion detectors. You can get the position from this. Uh, there is a force sensor right here too. I haven't used that too much. There's also an, uh, an accelerometer in there, which I haven't used yet, but uh, I'm gonna play around with this some more. So I just thought I'd make a video, um, you know, just because I like it. 
and I want to play with it some more. So I'm not saying you should get one, but I think I like them. So we got a set for our class. Time to upgrade, right? The, honestly, the nice thing is that these connect to a computer, so you don't have to worry about having computers in the classroom because everyone's got a phone. They can use their phone. Okay, that's enough. Talk to you later.